Hello folks, another train tutor back in my happy place and back talking with you guys. Back with a smile on my face as well. First things first, we've got a little bit of uh, pre-video admin, shall we call? I don't even know what the term is. Come on, let me know in the comments. Right, thank you for a wonderful welcome back. Yeah, your comments, they meant a lot to me, yeah? I replied to a few, I can't reply to them all, but genuinely, yeah, they hit home. Good to see you rusted. Bill, good to see you. And also, Paul, thank you for welcoming me back home. That really. So folks, listen, I know I ask for help and that sort of stuff, but if you're ever watching a video and it puts a smile on your face, drop a comment down below and let me know. Yeah, because trust me, it's not just a comment to me, yeah? All right. Now, listen, don't write too much though, because I get guilty and I feel like I've got to write a lot and that sort of stuff. Yeah, because I feel guilty that if you wrote that much to me, that I should really reply back. And Yeah, well, I've done a bit of writing there in the train shoot. I mean, I did write 160,000 words for the book. Oh, that's the point. I'm promoting the book. But yeah, listen, I know quite a lot of you watching this are new and didn't know I have a book. I should tell you, yeah. In here is 90,000 words, 550 pictures. Yeah, and basically... It's sort of a line in the sand of all the basic information, all that sort of stuff across all the train stuff on the channel. So this is sort of the channel condensed and I now am continuing personally on the channel from here, yeah? So if you've not seen this before and you're watching this video because you like me and you like terrain, terrain essentials. Now, and you'll be helping me out because I do get royalties. Only a few quid, but it does come. Yeah, it does help. Now, for all of those who do have this book, did you know that if your local hobby shop stocks this excellent book, which they can get from Wardlaw Games, so if they stock any Wardlaw products, they can get it as part of their normal orders. Yeah? Well, if a hobby shop stocks it on their shelves to sell, because it will sell, we all know it will sell. Yeah. Yeah? I get royalties before it sells because it's sold to the hobby shop. So if you wanna, if you've got a copy and you're friendly with your local gaming store, World of Games, always good to have at least a couple of copies in, isn't it? Right. That's my bit of Arthur Daly done. If you don't know Arthur Daly, you're young or American, not British. Classic British comedy, Arthur Daly. But, yeah, now we get back to the important stuff, the video, the terrain. Right, I've sat back and the theme of today's video is revisiting old sets because I know lots of little things that I, I need to do and that sort of stuff, but it's all fragmented, yeah? And so I decided, well, I really need to have a proper look and just revisit a set. So it just makes sense that you know, we go along for the ride on this. I take you along and you figure out. So here's here's some of the issues I've got. Yeah, this is this actual terrain concept. It started off a long time ago with a single piece and then it expanded. Bits have been added. Yeah, as they sort of felt it would go right. Yeah, and then a few bits of sort of like, oh, I'll give that a go. And then they've been padded out to make a set. <coughs> now between the skulls and the pieces I've got here and a few pieces over there, I don't even know if I've got a full terrain set to go on that map because I've never actually laid it out like that. So as I'm revisiting this, what I really want to do is just, right, let's get this laid out and see it on the table where it is and just get a feel for it. Now, on top of that, it's important to do this because even the mat is wrong because when I spray painted the mat a few months ago, I used a reddy brown instead of a greeny brown. Yeah, I made a mistake. Now, I've got to go back and touch that up and it shouldn't be that much of a problem. But, you know, this is how these sort of mistakes happen. So I'm going to be pulling the set together and then I'm going to be pulling my painting resources and that sort of stuff together to make sure I'm working from one set palette, especially as on some of the skulls, we've already started doing the flocking and that sort of stuff. And there's also some detailing. So it's all about, let's have a look at the set and let's establish what resources we need, make sure we've got them and then just figure out the job list for moving on. So that's my next job. I've got to lay out some terrain. I'll come back in a flash when I've got it done. Right, it's all set out, as you can see. And you know what? I 
don't know how long it's been since I've had terrain laid out as a set on the table, but I know why I love doing this. Right, okay, first off, for me personally, I can see a slight difference between the browns that are on the pieces and the matte, and that's because I screwed up, yeah, I actually screwed up with these, I had to repaint them, but I used a ready brown instead of a watch call it instead of a greeny brown on this so with regards to this battle mat i'm going to have to sort of do a little bit of touching up now i only have to introduce yeah the sort of greeny brown in a couple of key places where i've sort of overdone it with the ready brown and sort of knock that back what i don't want to do is lose any more of the green or the detail in here and i won't have to i've just got to get the right tone in i mean using the right colors when you're mixing up and that sort of stuff is crucial I have made a mistake on this, yeah? I painted the, the watch of the mat with the wrong brown, yeah? And I even painted all my rocks and these sort of things. For example, if you look at that brown, that's a reddy brown. That isn't, that's a greeny brown. That's a reddy brown, see? That's a reddy brown. Ready brown, ready brown. So all these pieces were painted, yeah? All this greener, sort of dark, sort of swampy green. Yeah, let me have a look. So all this, it's taken me a little while. Remember, I've got another camera there. It's been a while, don't worry, I'll catch up. Now I've got it, yeah? I'm a bit of a professional at this. Stop laughing. <laughs> okay, I'll try my best to stop laughing if you can. Right. Yeah, so as you can see, yeah, that's a nice sort of, that is a brown, but you can see it's a greeny brown. Yeah, but I actually painted all the, the actual paste pieces for all these in this brown, yeah? Because I wasn't, my mind wasn't in it, which is one of the reasons why I'm doing this. Because what I want to do is go, right, do, 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 do. this is a bit of a wonder about. These, no, 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 they, they go back. They go back, they're not used, yeah? They're the ready browns, yeah? I need to make sure that when I'm in the moment and I'm just doing something or I want to touch something up, I don't make that mistake. Here's my green brown, yeah? That is going to go there, yeah? On top of that, I've got to do these skulls and I've got to bring these up. Now, these have, haven't been painted with a standard grey. They've actually been painted with... Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. These have been painted with the right grey. I can see just a touch of green in them, yeah, which is right. So, yeah, I have sort of my own custom grey, yeah? And I've called it Swamp Grey, yeah? Where, I can't even read that. Dark Flint and Sap Green. So basically, this is standard grey with a little bit of this in it, yeah? Just to give it that swampy, greeny feel. Yeah, so I need to be sure that when I do all these, I use this as my base when I light it up when I go to stipple, because if I don't and I forget, I'm going to stipple with something lighter and I'll lose that swamp tone. It's subtle, but little pot, I could have easily forgotten because to be perfectly honest, until I saw the pot, I forgot. Well, that's how I did it. So, if I can do that, if it had been somewhere else, I would have made that mistake and that's how these mistakes happen so it's important when you're revisiting a set yeah take a good look at it work at your colors that sort of stuff now so that's going there now there are obviously i need my grays and that sort of stuff but that is absolutely fine because they're just lightning yeah we do not want to mess with anything else but we do have this funky stuff now i remember i put these aside and i also if you look I'm sort of working on it. Ooh, can you see that? I'm already adding green stuff. And this is a progressive set, which is why I'm not 100% sure about where I am with it and everything, because it's still evolving. But let me go get those. Do, do, do. Right, are we ready? So, yeah, over here, I was lucky enough before, I picked out the basic colors that I use. Yeah, uh, obviously Army Painter. Yeah, because I love Army Painter for my little detail work. Army Painter's great because the, the spray cans match the actual colours. So you can like spray a piece and then touch it with an airbrush or touch it with what you call it. Yeah, 
But basically, they're my colours and they're my wash. So these are going to go over here. Yeah, and this is going to be my paint palette for the project. I can add to it. Yeah, with little bits. But that way, I'm not going to screw up again. Okay, and that's the important thing. Because I don't want to put effort into something and realise just because of a silly mistake. You know, it hasn't turned out how it should have. Yeah, so I'm being concentrated. Now, next thing, onto the ground. Now, I've messed around with the ground a bit here. Yeah, because I've used numerous different flocks on these pieces. Yeah, but luckily, find the head. Yeah, right, what have we got? They're over here. Right, this is my swamp mix. So this is the ready stuff. Yeah, I've got some greeny stuff. Yeah, and I've got plenty of extra spares over there. Plenty. So I can get that swampy look. So I need to keep this. And then obviously the dark green uh, clump foliage, that sort of stuff. I can just grab that out of the watch colour. In fact, I'm probably going to need some more clump foliage and that sort of stuff because I'm running low on a few things. So uh, for you wonderful people who'd like to help me out with this, there'll probably be a, a few small items on my Amazon wish list in the link down below for clump foliage. Just stock up a couple of things because... Okay, what have I got? Mm. Okay, I've got a reasonable amount of dark. Reason about dark conifer. Yeah, oh god. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh what is that all? Right. Yeah, that's my total supply. That's all the watch colour. That's all the uh light green clump foliage I have in the studio. So yeah, I'm gonna have to that'll go on my Amazon wish list. Oh that reminds me. Oh listen, I had an idea. Palm trees, yeah. First off, for you few folks who've jumped on the Amazon wish list and got me those books, thank you. I can't wait for them to turn up. I'm really looking forward to getting dug into the clinical art therapy stuff, you know, the technical stuff. Yeah. But we did talk about palm trees. So here's the deal. Yeah. As I'm as you're as I'm putting stuff on my Amazon wish list, you know, for you guys, get stuff in, help me out this and all that sort of stuff. I'll also, when I ask, I'll put on a certain item. Let's say a Hawaiian shirt with palm trees on or something like that, or palm tree spectacles. I'll put that on. And if one of you crazy lot are crazy enough to actually buy it, and have it shipped to the studio, I will wear said item in the next video. Only once. I'll build up a collection for odd occasions. Yes, but I will put certain palm tree related items onto my Amazon wish list. If you buy them, I win. But, Better buy the other stuff I need because there's no bloody use for me standing here with a palm tree top on without any bloody clump foliage. So I'll leave that in your hands. But we are going to have some sh some shenanigans. Keep your picks off. Right. So back to this stuff. Oh, we might have some. We might need some swamp tufts as well because I'm guessing we're down loads. Right. I get the yeah swamp tuft. Yeah, there'll be some of these as well, because like I'm getting low on these. In fact, let me just get the... Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you'll see those on, but we do need those, so... Right, is that the right colour? Yeah, right, so I'm going to grab this lot, so I've got it. I'm going to grab what I've got left of these, which should be... Should be enough, but I need to restock. I'm going to put those over there. I'm going to put those over there, and now I have my palette. So, give me a quick moment, yeah, because, right, okay, right, I'm coming back in a second, I just need to have a quick wet in my mouth and just have a think about what I need to talk about next, rather than babbling, back in a flash. Right, folks, had to clean my airbrush out because it got a bit goppy, yeah, but I've had a bit of a technical issue, or... I just think the terrain gods are laughing at all, Mel. Yeah, okay. Told you about I need to respray this because this is like got a reddy brown and I've got a mistake. So I'm using my Van Gogh, I'm using the, the dot one. Yeah. Yeah. Have a look at how it goes when you thin it. 
That doesn't look green to me. It is. It's the greeny brown. It's the right one. It's gone ready brown when I thinned it. It looks even more ready brown than the ready brown I put on. Now, I know the pigments. I know how this works. I know this will dark. This will dry dark green. Well, not dark green, but a greeny brown. But I'm looking at something which is like, yeah, this is going to screw it. Now, on one plus thing, it's actually acrylic. Worst case, I can wash the mat. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. So, shall we? Right, simple airbrush. Yeah. Oh, okay, I like that. All I'm doing is I'm just looking for the odd bits of these ready browns. I'm just getting rid of them. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I think it's going to be all right. I think we're going to be okay. I really should be wearing a mask for this, but there's not that much to do. So, right, what I'm going to do is just introduce the colour. What I'm doing is I'm not doing little circles. I am doing lines. Yeah, I'm just introducing the colour a little. Yeah, but I've got to be careful I don't use too much of it and get carried away. And we will see. So, not little circles, little lines. Think camouflage. Yeah, so, put another line in there. Yeah, it helps break things up. Right, and we work on these uh, sort of light bits. That's the logo of the mat, uh, the mat making company. Right, I need to do the last little bits. That's actually gone together a hell of a lot quicker than I thought. Right, put a bit more in. Right, guys. I don't know how this is going to turn out, to be perfectly honest. I genuinely don't. Yeah? In fact, I have a strong feeling that I'm not going to know how this turns out until tomorrow. And I've decided since we're back in our ways and we're playing our little shenanigans, neither are you. So if you want to find out whether it's screwed up or not, you're going to have to come back and watch the next video. Because if I have to wait overnight to find out, so do you. So in the meantime, guys, I'm cracking on. In fact, let me sit down. In the meantime, guys, I'm smiling. The mojo's flowing. I've got a bit of stuff to do on this. Yeah, which I will. Don't worry about that. I may have been a bit OTT, but we can knock that back. Yeah, but as I was saying, I'm going to crack on with this. I'll find out tomorrow if it's worked out. Good chance you will too, because you're not finding out in this video. And in the meantime, guys, the clump foliage, the, the tufts and stuff, they'll be on my wish list. I do need your help. So if anyone wants to jump on Patreon or hit, or hit me up on PayPal and send in a little nugget to... It will help me while I'm getting myself back in the saddle and get the, the ad, getting videos out and getting the ad money back up. You know, my views have dropped massively. So the reserve I normally rely on, it just ain't there. Never mind on Patreon. But I know it will grow while I do videos. So I'm not worry, worried. But if you can help me out, that'd be great. To all of those who got me those clinical art therapy books, first one should, have be, should already be in the gatehouse waiting for me. So fingers crossed I'm going to be picking that up on the way home. I'll be picking the others up in the next few days, so thank you. Uh, to everyone else who, who's watching. Listen, just thanks to if you're still here. Thanks, guys. Glad, glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Right, I've got to get cracked on. So have you. Check out the links below if you're a good, good one. And remember, drop me a comment. If I made you smile, or you're glad I'm back, drop me a comment, please. In the meantime, I've got spraying to do. I'm either going to do really well, or we're going to have another fix-it video tomorrow. But in the meantime, it's cracking on time. All the best, yeah? Ta-da!